Imagine what a storm can arise in the auto industry when the CEO of a car company himself comes out in front of the world and says that their most mysterious and talked about engine ever really exists. Yes, the CEO of Mercedes has finally announced that the Yasa Flux engine is a reality, the engine about which there were only rumors and secret discussions until now. It is being said that this engine is so powerful and built on a different technology that in the coming times companies like Tesla, BYD, and Toyota may have sleepless nights. Imagine if this engine is installed in cars, then the game of petrol, diesel, and even existing electric batteries could change. But the real question is, what is so special about this engine? Will it really prove to be the game changer that the automobile industry has been looking for for years? Or is it just another high-tech promise that will fade in the coming times? And if it really works, will Tesla's EV dominance be in danger? Believe me, in this video, we will reveal such secrets to you that you will be forced to think about the future of automobiles. So stay with us till the end of this video because the real game has just begun. And yes, before moving on to the video, subscribe to the channel so that you can be the first to see such amazing videos. When a big company brings revolutionary technology to the world, there are always years of hard work, research, and secret strategies behind it. The same is the case with the Mercedes Yasa Flux engine. Many people think that it came to light suddenly, but the reality is that Mercedes was quietly working on this project for the last several years. They neither made much noise about it nor made big claims in the media, but kept turning this technology into reality by sitting behind the scenes. This is Mercedes' real master plan. If we look back, a wave of electric cars started rising all over the world between 2010 and 2015. Tesla had shown with its models at that time that EVs are not only the future, but also the present. During this time, it became clear to Mercedes that if they want to maintain their hold in the future, then they should not rely only on batteries but also have to revolutionize the technology of motors. At that time, Mercedes's eyes fell on a small but innovative company from Britain Yasa. The Yasa company had already started research on the axial flux motor, and their initial prototype proved that this design could change the future. Mercedes saw this as an opportunity and gradually started supporting Yasa. Finally, in 2019, Mercedes took Yasa completely under its control. This purchase was the most important part of Mercedes's master plan. From the outside, it seemed like a normal business deal, but in reality, this was the step that laid the foundation of the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes then gave full funding and research support to Yasa. Over the last 5 to 10 years, millions of dollars were spent on this project, and hundreds of engineers worked day and night to make this engine a reality. You know, the company kept this project so secret that even industry experts were left scratching their heads, unable to guess what Mercedes was up to. People just assumed that Mercedes was focusing solely on its luxury electric cars. But, behind the scenes, they were working on an engine that, well, could change the direction of the entire auto industry. The second aspect of this master plan was, indeed, timing. Mercedes never rushed to launch this technology. They understood that if an incomplete or weak product hit the market, companies like Tesla and BYD would be quick to ridicule it. So, Mercedes first tested it thoroughly, conducting thousands of hours of driving simulations and, you know, testing it in every possible situation. Only when they were completely confident that this engine would be successful, did they announce it to the world. This move by Mercedes clearly shows that they've learned quite a bit from Tesla. Tesla, as we know, always enters the market with a lot of noise, but Mercedes has kept quiet and made its move at just the right time. This is their master plan, say less, do more. First of all, let's talk about speed and horsepower. Ordinary electric motors, you see, have the ability to give a certain pickup and speed to the car. For example, if a car reaches 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 6 seconds, then it's considered pretty good for an EV like Tesla, but the Yasa Flux engine can make this race even faster. The reason for this is that this lightweight motor can generate more power. When the weight on the vehicle is less and the power output is more, then the car easily moves forward, tearing through the air. Its effect is directly seen on the horsepower. The Flux engine gives the same power as a big motor even in a smaller size, and this is the real game changer. Now let's come to high torque. If we understand torque in simple language, then it is the pulling power of the car. As you tighten the screw with a spanner, a smaller spanner demands more force, but a larger spanner does the same job easily. The specialty of the Yasa Flux engine is that this motor gives high torque right from the start. 
That means as soon as the car starts, it will immediately catch the road with full power. This means that the driver will not have to wait to catch speed. In ordinary motors the torque increases gradually, due to which the car takes some time to get full power. But in the flux engine, as soon as the accelerator is pressed, the power is received in a jerk. This is the reason why its performance on the road will not be less than any sports car. Whether it is a road full of traffic or a long journey on the highway, a car with a flux engine will always feel fast and smooth. Now let's come to more range and efficiency. The biggest concern of EV owners is how long the battery will last and how quickly it will run out. The Yasa flux engine eliminates this concern to a great extent. Its design is such that there is very little loss of power in it. While running, normal motors waste a lot of electricity as heat. But the magic of the flux engine is that it converts less electricity into heat and more into the speed of the car. This directly affects the range. Suppose a normal electric car runs 400 kilometers. Then, if the same car runs on the flux engine, it can easily go up to 500 to 550 kilometers. And this difference is not small because in the EV market, every additional 100 kilometers of range can give the company a lead in the market. Another advantage of higher efficiency is less pressure on the battery. When the motor uses electricity more efficiently, the battery does not have to be stressed as much. This also increases the life of the battery, and the vehicle does not need to be charged frequently. This means that the flux engine is not only powerful, but also economically beneficial because the user will have to spend less on charging and maintenance in the long run. The first to be affected is the stock market. As soon as the news came that Mercedes now has the flux engine, their shares started going up, and the confidence of investors became stronger. At the same time, there was a stir among the investors of companies like Tesla and BYD because people started feeling that now Mercedes has a real game-changer. Global investors always lean towards the company that has new and unique technology, and the flux engine created this atmosphere. Now, let's come to the car market. Mercedes has always had an image of luxury and trust in Europe and America. If the flux engine starts coming in their vehicles, then customers will run towards Mercedes, not only because of the brand but also because of the new performance and more range. This can have a direct impact on the sales of companies like Tesla and BMW, especially in America, where Tesla is considered the king of the EV market. Now, the entry of Mercedes can become a big challenge. Talking about the Chinese market, companies like BYD and NIO are considered the kings of EV there. The Chinese government supports electric vehicles a lot, and there is a whole lot of demand for cheap electric vehicles there. But, you know, the specialty of the flux engine is that it won't be limited to just luxury cars. If Mercedes starts producing this engine on a large scale and manages to bring the cost down, then it could also enter the affordable EV market in China. At that point, it would really be tough for companies like BYD to maintain their hold. Now let's take a look at emerging markets like India. Here, the EV market is still in its early stages, but it's growing really fast. Companies like Tata, Mahindra, and MG are putting a lot of focus on electric vehicles. If Mercedes cars with flux engines make their way here, then, honestly, this technology could attract even more people to EVs. Even though these cars are expensive at first, over time people will realize that a car with a flux engine means more range, more power, and better reliability. The result of this is that the pressure on other Indian companies will increase, pushing them to innovate in motor technology too, and honestly, it will also have a significant impact on global politics and the energy sector. Because of electric vehicles, the demand for oil is already starting to decrease, bit by bit. Now, with the arrival of efficient technology like the flux engine, the game of petrol and diesel will weaken further. This is bad news for countries selling oil because their economy will be directly affected. On the other hand, this is good news for countries related to lithium and batteries because the demand for EVs will increase further. Another big impact will be on government policies. Europe is already supporting EVs, but now when technology like the flux engine is coming, governments can become more strict. It is possible that in the coming time taxes on petrol and diesel cars may be increased further and vehicles with technology like the flux engine may be given more subsidy. Social media and customer behavior will also change with the flux engine. People will no longer talk only about battery and charging but will also start understanding the power of the motor and its efficiency. Just like today everyone asks, what is the range of this car? Similarly, in the coming time people will ask, which motor is in it? Flux or the old radial? 
this change will be the real face of the market. So it is clear that Mercedes's flux engine is not just a car part, but honestly, it is a step that will shake the entire global market. This will change the attitude of investors, change the thinking of customers, change the design of vehicles, and even change energy policies. The companies that go with this change will survive, and those who are left behind will gradually disappear from the market. Along with this comes the stress of raw materials and the supply chain. Flux engines require rare earth elements such as neodymium magnets. Their supply is already limited to China and a few countries. If the demand for flux engines increases, the shortage of these metals may increase further. This will increase prices and put pressure on companies. To deal with this problem, Mercedes will have to find new suppliers and perhaps also pay more attention to recycling technology. But here, a big question arises. Is this really the future of the EV industry or just another corporate promise? The history of the auto industry is witness to the fact that many times companies talk big, but their technology does not turn out to be that effective as soon as it enters production in the market. The real test of the flux engine will also be when it is fitted in the vehicles of common customers and run on the roads. So now the decision is yours. Do you believe that the flux engine will really change the future of electric vehicles, or will it fade away like other technologies in a few years? What is your opinion? Do tell us in the comments. And yes, thanks for staying till the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see such amazing and true stories first.